remodel, bitch. Cocaine on the sink, and I'm so body body. I might roll up in the tank, cause my chain came from Cuba. Got a lot up on the link, in the red bottom, both is just a compliment to me. I shank, rolling up that dank, blowing on that sink. What you mean? Tell me what you drink, I'm on that kiss and paint. You could call me Billy Gates, got a crib in every state. Man on the moon, got a kind of out of space. Open up your legs, tell me how it tastes. And them niggas soaking shit, so tell them, tell it to my face. Tell that bitch, hop up on my dick, roll up on it quick. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't out of shape. Finally, some fresh air. I've been coughed up in the house way too long. The weather is perfect today. You went in the house, it's perfect. The new 2020 stump jumper, Alloy Comp 29er. Listen, listen. The birds. What's up guys, I'm Caleb back in order if you're new here. If you aren't, I want to apologize. I've been away from YouTube for a minute. I've been on TikTok, I've been on Snapchat. I've been I've been putting in the work. We're back on YouTube, let's get into it. A 150 millimeter Fox Rhythm 34s on the front. 135 millimeter Fox Float on the rear. Full adjustability from open to close, which would be lockout. The rear shock has three different settings from lockout to more of a trowel setting to the whole way open. First thing I noticed right off the bat is this thing handles like a dirt bike. This is my dirt bike without an engine. For example, these rocks on the trail, you don't even have to weave around them. My old bike, I would even hit those. I would literally wreck. I don't know what in the world makes these bikes so damn expensive, but honestly, they do hold their value. I saw like 2018 models, 2017 models going for over $2,000. I actually had four other bikes lined up before I found this one, and they all sold within the first day they are posted. So honestly, there is a high demand for these bikes, paying a couple thousand dollars. I'm gonna end up getting most of that money back when I go to sell it anyways. This is my old bike, the Iron Horse Warrior 1.3 26-inch. Look how much slack is in the crank. <laughs> this thing is the definition of a clapped out bike. Road hard and put away wet. In the beginning of my bike search, I was so set on getting 27.5 wheels. But when I went to the bike shop to price a brand new one, apparently they stopped making 27.5 wheels for the new 2021 specialized models in general. I guess 29 inches is the new norm and uh, they say it's better for rolling. The reason I wanted the 27.5 is because my old bike was a 26 inch and I didn't want to jump straight to a 29 inch, but honestly, it's not bad at all. I guess they sold this bike to some guy last year and the guy only rode it on the road. I mean, it is dirty right now, but there's literally no scratches on it at all. And there's no nicks on the crank. One thing that keeps bothering me about this bike is the dropper post keeps getting stuck. Usually a few taps get it unstuck, but it's not bad if you keep pushing it down. But if you stop it halfway, let the trigger out, and then go to push it in again, it doesn't go up. And then sometimes it works. I don't know if that's a common problem with the stump jumpers, but this dropper post is made by X-Fusion. If any of you guys have a stump jumper, is that a common problem with them? Because that is my first dropper post on a pedal bike and it's having issues. Luckily, I did catch that when I was test riding the bike at the shop. It's not a big deal, but it's more of an annoyance because if you're spending that much money on a bike, you kind of want all the features to work. But they said, if uh, if it bothers me anymore, I can take it back and they'll replace it for free. We'll see if they keep their word because I'm probably gonna end up taking it back. It is starting to annoy me. But other than that, I cannot complain about the bike at all. I'm not even gonna ask you to subscribe. I'm gonna show you first and I'm gonna put in the work. And if you come back to a second one of my videos and you like that one too, then think about subscribing. But in the meantime, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. For two years now, I've been wanting to get monetized on YouTube. I was so close and then, I don't know what happened. I, I gave up. I'm gonna be honest with you, to make a YouTube video, it's it takes some work. Anyone that makes YouTube videos can probably agree that if you put all this work in and not get the views or not start making money, it really becomes not motivating at all. So I switched over to TikTok where I started making money, started growing a lot of followers. And I went to Snapchat where I really started making money. Putting this YouTube thing behind me is, it's not working. It's been a goal of mine. And guys, I'm reaching that goal this year. 2021 is the year this channel is going to take off. 